Okay, so primary is what we talked about. What's primary mean to you? It's a fact that your focus should be on sodium. Why? Because if sodium comes in and you're retaining it, then what are you going to do with the volume? You're going to retain that as well. Wow. You retain your volume, and so therefore you increase the amount of fluid or preload in the heart. And uh, what's this relationship called? It's called frank stalling relationship. What are you going to increase when you have increased volume within the heart? I believe it's called systole. Good. The active portion of your blood pressure, is it not? And could you also have your diastole affected? Of course you can. But with diastole, where are you looking? Are you looking at the heart or are you looking at the blood vessels? You're looking at the vasculature people. Hmm? So that was primary. Your focus there should be on sodium. You know that and you'll be in good shape. Okay, let's go on to secondary. Hmm. What's that mean? We're looking at an underlying issue. Look at an underlying issue in which now the patient has developed secondary hypertension. We shall go through the most common causes of secondary. We will walk through the pathogenesis so that you understand what's going on with your patient. Onset prior to age of 30. We'll talk about this being bimodal, huh? And this will make sense to you as we move on. Secondary change in hypertension. What does that mean? Well, once again, as I said, we're looking for an underlying cause. Male patient. Mm. As a general rule of thumb, as a male patient, in the United States, obese. That's a problem. Obese patient, what do we say this was called? Most of your patients that may present with metabolic syndrome. What's the prefix that you're thinking about metabolic syndrome? Reflexively, you should be thinking about hyper, hyper, hyper. What is it? Hyper, hyper, hyper. <laughs> kind of like what I am experiencing when I talk about medicine. I get all hyper. I should you. It's hypertension, hyperlipidemia, hyperglycemia. Huh? Is that clear? What's our point of reference here? Hypertension. So, with the male patient, obese, atherosclerosis, why not recommend your patient to lose weight? And when they do so, you should be able to knock out a few things at the same time. You should maybe take care of that hyperglycemia. Maybe, just maybe, you're increasing the sensitivity of the insulin receptors. Welcome to management of diabetes, huh? Maybe, by controlling the diet, you should be able to control the lipid. And also, by losing weight, you should be able to control some of this hypertension. Atherosclerosis, secondary hypertension. What's atherosclerosis mean? Accumulation of lipid. Where might this be taking place? It might be taking place in the renal vasculature, right? We'll get into this in a second. You will see as to how, if there's a blockage of the renal vasculature, then it may result in secondary hypertension. Males, alcohol abuse. What about female? What do you know about estrogen, please? Prothrombotic, antithrombotic. I'm sorry, what? Pro-thrombotic. Really? Yeah. What's one of the risk factors for DVT? Estrogen. DVT. Deep vein thrombosis. Estrogen. Pro-thrombotic. So what if you ended up developing thrombus because of oral contraceptive pills that might have estrogen? May you result in secondary hypertension? Sure you could. What about renal vascular disease? What particular renal vascular disease should come to mind when you're thinking about a female? A young female. 30s, perhaps. Huh? You're thinking about something called... Fibromuscular dysplasia. I'll talk about this in a second. What's our topic? Secondary hypertension. Elderly, without history of prior hypertension, consider atherosclerosis. You must. You must. Atherosclerosis is something, from the day that we're born, we pretty much are developing fatty streaks, aren't we? You are what you eat. <laughs> and this is so incredibly true when you're talking about hypertension. Atherosclerosis, what if it took place in renal artery? Now, let me give you a little bit of a preface hmm, as to what's to come. Meaning what? You decrease the amount of blood flow to your blood vessels. Where? In the glomerulus. Are you there? Picture the afferent, please, and picture the efferent. I want you to focus upon the afferent arterial. Would you tell me what vasculature or blood vessel is proximal to the afferent arterial? I believe it's the renal artery. Wow. That is a huge blood vessel undergoing atherosclerosis and you decrease your blood vessel. What then happens with juxtaglomerular apparatus? It becomes very, very active, doesn't it? It doesn't like the fact that it's receiving decreased perfusion. What are you going to release? Renin and company. What do you mean renin and company? Welcome to RAS. Renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system. So as we move through here, we will then take a look at the RAS system in greater detail. What's my topic? Secondary hypertension, different patients presenting with most common diseases. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions, 
customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.